Mesa TV presents in 3, 2, 1. Dateline Schools with your host, Carrie Harrington. All this week on Dateline Schools, we've been learning how Yale Public Schools are teaching their kids to be prepared for any kind of emergency through the efforts of the Yale Police Department and Officer Brian Mahaffey. And, and Brian, how do you know if this program's a success or not? I know because we've been teaching it long enough now where we've had a power out, we've had snow days where parents were gone or ice days, and it, it, it came after parents were gone, kids were home alone, and they tell me. You know, and I've had parents uh, uh, make, uh, tell me that, you know, they used the kit or they knew where the child was if they couldn't get a hold of them because we have safe places. And, and uh, so uh, word of mouth, I've heard that it, it's worked. How much time do you spend with the kids in the classroom with this curriculum? I do the, the STEP program usually two or three lessons sometimes. They generally want me to come back once they argue a little bit about what goes in their kit and what have you, so I end up coming back a third time. But usually I just hit one grade a couple times uh, in a semester. Do you find the teachers also embellish it a little bit after you leave the classroom? Yeah, they like it. Uh, I'll have the first, second, and fourth grade t teachers ask if we can come in and do them as well. But, you know, you like to miss a grade because they're going to get it the next year. So, sure. But they all like it. Like it. What kind of things do you do for the kids when they graduate or, or complete the program? We have a graduation, and their big thing is they got this map of we have a disaster or, or emergency. Here it is. But uh, Jeff Freeland also supplies them with a really nice backpack that, that we talked about earlier in the week that they can they can use for their kit. A lot of them are wearing it around school. I see them this year, and they get a certificate saying that you know we completed it with the help of your parents and 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 Officer Mahaffey, and we have a plan. And we may have not, there's a lot of kids that had no plan before we started, or, and parents as well. So, And where can other teachers get some information on this program if they'd like to implement this or bring this to their classroom or to their school? Any other police agencies are aware of the program, and also Jeff Freeland at Homeland Security, he has, he has the info. He'd be more than, give, more than happy to give them the info they need. And I know our schools are always concerned to cost. Any cost for the schools to put this on? Everything that I need or everything that I use, I get from uh, Jeff Freeland. He's, he's supplied us with all the handouts, the, the material that for the classroom for the teacher to give, to send home to the parents. He has everything prepared for us. Can't end the program without you giving us uh, last-minute advice what we as parents need to be doing. <laughs> check your kit. Check it every year like you do your smoke alarms. Or twice, I tell the kids twice a year. Uh, pick a date. Whether it be your birthday and a, and a son or daughter's birthday, check that kit because you're going to have batteries in there. You're going to have things in there, maybe dry food that only last a year, so replace that stuff. For Dateline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington. Dateline Schools is a production of St. Clair County Recycling.